Шановні друзі, триває 38. The armored vehicles of airborne troops. The enemy armored vehicles which are in service of the paratroopers. They retreated. Almost the entire reinforced battalion was destroyed. This is an outstanding example of military victory and professionalism. We seize a lot of abandoned equipment without fuel and hand it over to the armed forces of Ukraine. That is, the offensive is successful. In response, the enemy is trying to bring in a certain number of troops from the Kursk region. But we need to understand the situation. This is not a strengthening, not an attempt to create a new group. This is an attempt to keep their troops from defeat, at least somehow. These troops do not pose a direct threat to the cities of Sumy, Chernihiv, Kiev or other cities in these three regions. It's just a barrier and an attempt to strengthen their troops so that we don't destroy them completely when they leave the border. Although one of these columns, which came in last night, was hit very hard, it was a so-called Chernobyevka, which incidentally also happened yesterday for the 13th and 14th time. The battalion and battery of the self-propelled artillery of the Russian armed forces were destroyed. Our troops in the Kherson direction continue their offensive. Tactical, small, but still offensive. The enemy is in defense, and the main intrigue we have, as always, is the east of Ukraine, where the enemy continues to try to surround our troops in the Joint Forces Operation area, from Izum to the south and from Volnovakha to the north. We know this, and the military and political leadership knows this too. We are focusing our efforts accordingly to repel this threat. The front line is holding up. Yesterday on the southern flank in the Volnovakha area, the enemy tried to launch an offensive, but it was repulsed. They are also trying to press from the areas of Avdiivka and Yesinovata and so on, but they have been stopped and repulsed with heavy losses. Regarding Izum, they concentrated, but the unfortunate events that for some reason took place in the north, north of Kharkiv, somewhat slowed down their attempts to advance. However, we have to get rid of illusions. Heavy fighting is still ahead. For the south, for Mariupol, for the east of Ukraine. But after these battles, I do not think that the Russian Federation will have any reserves for active offensive action. And active offensive action will curtail. I believe in the armed forces, and I believe in our victory. I believe in our people, and I think we will recapture Mariupol and the east of Ukraine and the south. But we should watch closely, it will not be easy there, I can say that at once. The current losses of the enemy during the past day are 631 tanks, 1776 units of armored combat vehicles, 317 units of artillery systems, multiple rocket launchers, approximately 100 units, air defense units, 54, aircraft, 143 units. For your understanding, it's seven air regiments, helicopters 134 units, it's six air regiments or an air force, automotive equipment 1236 units, ships and boats 7 units, petrol, oil and lubricant tanks 76 units, operational and tactical unmanned aerial vehicles 87 units, special equipment 24 units and launchers of operational and tactical complexes such as Iskander are four units. These figures are being clarified. They are tentative. The calculation is complicated by the hostilities. I also have a special appeal to you at the request of our economic bloc. The economic bloc of both the government and the office of the president, deputies of the Verkhovna Rada, calls all of you to return to normal life or close the normal life where it is possible. In those areas liberated from the enemy, where there is no immediate threat, and even more so in the Ukrainian cities of 
the center of the Ukraine and the west or in the east, where there is no direct threat. The economic recovery is critical to restoring normal social political life, even psychological. I can add that returning to everyday habits, including going to work, is very conductive to restoring the, to restoring the psychological state, health and the emergence of peace and harmony in our cities. The one who is going to work now is helping the front in the most effective way, helping our common victory. The slogan of the day, go to work, help the front, help Ukraine. At the request of the representatives of the economic bloc of the government of Ukraine, I provide you with the following information. The relevant decision has been made to reimburse your destroyed housings, residential property, but for this you need to use the DIA application, select the option services and apply for compensation for the destroyed residential property there. The government will reimburse up to 150 square meters or the difference if you live in space, the destroyed house or an apartment was more than 150 square meters. Thank you for attention. Follow our next posts. We believe in the armed forces. Glory to Ukraine.